Hey guys, this is Josh here, Trillium Wild Edibles. I'm out here doing a little bit of foraging today, and here you can see these extremely large acorns that I have in my hand right here. And that's exactly what I came out here to forage today, is acorns. The acorns are starting to drop in my area. This is a perfect time of year to start gathering acorns to get ready to grind them up into flour. And you can see just six acorns, and you can see just how big these things really are. Now of course, out of all the acorns that you're going to gather, you're going to find quite a few that are going to be bad. And that's something that you can check whenever you get home, just by simply putting them in some water. And we'll show that just a little bit later, whenever I get these guys home. You know, right here in my bag, you can see already all these acorns that I've gathered, and I've just been gathering for just a couple of minutes. And I've only just gathered just in this small little circle here. So there, so there is a lot of acorns around me right now. And judging by a lot of the leaves that I'm seeing on the ground, a lot of these are from red or black oaks. So these acorns are going to be rather bitter in taste, so they're going to require a fair amount of leaching to make them palatable, so that way we can remove all the tannic acid that lies within the acorn. Each one that you find, you want to just give it a nice good inspection. Make sure that it's not cracked, make sure that it's not split, make sure that it doesn't have anything trying to grow out of it down here, because sometimes these things will germinate in a very short amount of time, depending on the weather that you're having. But there's one. I can see this one looks like it has a couple little holes in it. So it may be good, it may not be good. I won't know until I get it home. See, so whenever I look at the bottom of this one, you can see a slight split. And another thing I notice whenever I'm holding this one that I picked up is how much lighter it feels. Now yeah, it is smaller in size, but it feels like the nut meat inside isn't quite fully developed in this one. It has this kind of hollow feel to it. And as you're gathering acorns, that's something you want to pay attention to, is the feel. Could be, because if the acorn feels like it's hollow, or like there isn't any nut meat inside, there's a good chance that there isn't any nut meat, or that the nut meat isn't fully developed yet. Oftentimes with acorns, the very first round of acorns that drops are usually empty, and there's usually not much inside of them. So you may have to pay attention just a little bit to each acorn that you're grabbing, or pay attention to the acorns on the trees in your areas to see when they're falling, and to see when the first round of acorns falls, and really get an idea for when they're good and when they're not good in your area. And right here I look to be in a pretty nice little cluster. That one looks pretty good. Move the camera over just a little bit more. Now see that one's got a nice split in the bottom. You can see this one has a really nice split in the bottom, so I'm just going to leave it because there's a good chance that it's not any good. If you look really close at the top of some of the acorns as you're gathering them, this is something else you might see. A little bitty slug, and we can see a little bit of mold starting on the top. Now this mold does not make the acorn bad to eat. All you simply have to do, which this is what I like to do, I like to just take it and rub it on a leaf like that, on the ground. I just like to rub it on the ground, on a leaf or something, to help remove that little bit of mold on the top. And then continue to give it a good investigation. And if it looks good, I put it in my pocket. Or my bag, if I've got my bag with me, which my bag is not with me at the second in time. And what I can see here on this acorn, it looks kind of bad. It doesn't look like it would be any good. But it feels pretty hefty. It feels like there's something nice and solid in there. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to rub that little bit of mold off on the top of the crown there. In less than a minute, I just picked up four. Just right here. Just within this little circle. <coughs> and that's one of the very nice things about gathering acorns is that they don't take any calories, really, to gather. It just takes a careful eyesight and some time. But the amount of food that you can gather on the ground, just laying on the ground this time of year, is always impressive to me. 
Here you guys can see this nice sized pile of acorns and it only took me about 10 minutes to gather this with careful looking and careful investigation of each one. And that's one of the really nice things about acorns. You can see just how big this thing is and here's my hand for a comparison. There's a lot of acorns here. And this isn't even a tenth of what's in this area. <clears throat> And this isn't even a tenth of what's in this area. Now acorns are extremely packed full of nutrition, they're packed full of fats, they're packed full of proteins, and many cultures across the world have subsisted off of acorns for food throughout the winter months. All right, and once you guys have gotten your acorns home, one of the things that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put them in a bowl of cold water. And one thing that that's going to help you do is it's going to help you identify which acorns are bad. And the reason that is is because any acorns that are bad or don't have any fully developed nut meats are going to float up to the top. And here you can see with all these acorns that I put in this bowl, every single one sinks. Every one sinks to the bottom. So that way I know all of these are good. Another thing this does is it also helps you to kind of rinse off any dirt or leaves that are on your acorns. And then after you've gotten your acorns in the bowl of water and you've gotten all the ones that are floating out and you've loosened up all the dirt and leaves that are on any of the acorns that are in your bowl, go ahead and set them out on something nice and kind of flat. A tote lid will work. This one's got a little bit of a bow to it, but that's okay. You can use a screen for this. You can use a piece of wood. You can really use anything that's good and flat. The thing that you want to make sure is that you don't stack the acorns because you don't want them to mold while you're letting them dry. One thing I really like to do once I got them in the bowls, I like to kind of stir them up with my hands. I find this really helps to loosen up a lot of the dirt and grime or any leaves or anything like that that may be on the outside of the shell of the acorn. And then when the water gets too dirty like this, just simply change it out and start anew and keep going until you've washed off and rinsed off all of your acorns and you have them all laid out in a nice flat layer. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.